you wind up pushing, 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 and then we make up snakes, which you guys have seen. people it is really freaking cold out here <laughs> I don't, know, don't know how long I'm gonna last winter is here winter is here we woke up to rain this morning and it's supposed to be like what 20 degrees tonight? oh no no it's gonna get down to 17 tonight oh it's, cool it's that cold. sounds fabulous <laughs> but you got the the trailer winter not winterized but heat proof Tra tape tra tra trailers ready some of you have not been with us a long time yes um, basically since we got to this property but while we were looking after we were done traveling around the country we were holed up in Asheville over the winter right. while we were looking for property and we were in an RV park and I winterized it, you know, and got the heat tape, got, you know, as much as I could without skirting it. Yeah. Um, as much as they would let us in an RV park. Right. So I still have all that stuff. Yes. Thank goodness. So we're like, we're cozy. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're ready. Bring right. on the winter. Yes. Exactly. It's been very nice in the trailer. It's not nice out here right now in the cold. Do you want to relocate somewhere out of the wind? Yeah, let's go in the barn. All right, so not a whole lot has been going on. Nothing super exciting. But uh, you've gotten your machine shop. We are operational. Operational. I have played around and made some things. Like lightsabers? Because the, the that's what you do. The kids, <laughs> you'll have to go find the one I did. We are all Star Wars fans and, you know... Way back in the day, <laughs> my early days, I made, you know, that trinket. Right. And the kids found it in one of the boxes of stuff, and they flipped their lids, and it's like, Dad, we need lightsabers. Yes. So I'm making all the kids lightsabers. So, like, almost immediately got set up and have made lightsabers, because that's what you do. That's just, like, it's legit work, right? <laughs> There's a little footage of starting them, but it was just, like, it took so long, I quit recording. Yeah. Yeah. But now Munchie is running around. Hey, the happiest Jedi. He's the only one who has one face. Yeah. <laughs> but he's so happy. On that note, we are just kind of taking time off. Yeah. We are, we are slowing down. We are exhausted. Yeah. I think, for those of you who don't know, who are kind of new and don't really know our story, we previously lived in California, which I think every, just about everybody knows that. Yeah. But we traveled for a year, 10 months, to have fun mm -hmm. and get our family back. Yep. And you quit your, your job that was killing you. And traveled the whole country and really pushed and went really fast. And then our goal was to find a new place to live. We settled in North mm -hmm. Carolina. We're here. We love it. It's beautiful. But those 10 months, come to find out, really took a lot out of us. Yeah. And kind of, like, physically we're all right. But mentally, mentally it's been really, and then we jumped into this place and we love it, but it's been like so much more work than we had expected. I mean, you guys have seen that the mobile home has been like, rip one thing off to fix it and find 20 different things that yep. were wrong. It's been a little discouraging. So it's been a little slower than we had wanted and hoped. It's taking more time, but we're also realizing that we have to take that time to like mentally reset. Yeah. So basically what we've done is just slowed down. Yeah. Instead of go, 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 you know, we've been here, what? Four months. Four or five months. Five months. <laughs> and it has been go, go, go yeah. nonstop since we got here and kind of slowing down. It's like, you know what? We need this. Yeah. We need to slow down. We need to work on something else. And so... I've been out here just having mental health galore. Yes. And you're so busy with soap. I am. Because it's Christmas season. It it's is. It's push, push, push for another, what, two weeks? And uh, then... Yeah, three, maybe about four. Yeah. So it's just like, you know what? Let's just take a break on working on the mobile home. Yeah. It's kind of slowed down a little bit. Plus, too, I mean, it is colder now. We've had some rain. So, I mean, like mm -hmm. installing windows is really hard to do in the rain. And that's yep. kind of like the last bit on the outside. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those, like, it sucks because we want to share with you guys and we want you guys to see our progress and everybody's along for this ride. But at the same time, it's like, 
we could either like totally burn out and then not do any more YouTube because we're just fried, mm -hmm. or we could take the time we need, show the little bits that are going on, you know, like lightsabers and soaping, and just be healthy for us. So hopefully you guys understand. I know you probably will. So if you're wondering why there's been a uh, a lack of videos lately, yeah. it's just we're taking some downtime. We're yeah. enjoying the downtime. You know, come on, it's it's almost Christmas. I know. It's almost Thanksgiving. I'm like so excited. It for is Christmas. it is wonderful. It was so cute. The guy the boys were out the other day and they were like, All right, so this is the plan. Like they have this plan. They're like, All right, so the pigs are gonna clear in the little pine forest and they're gonna make room for us and then we're gonna go out there and we're gonna pick a tree and we're gonna cut it down and that's gonna be our Christmas tree. I was like, yes! That's totally what's gonna happen. We had, we had already had this plan, but right. the boys have decided now. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yay, good, they're totally on board. So we're very excited to pick our own Christmas tree. That won't happen until December. So that's pretty much why we're not working on the mobile home right now. It will, I mean, we're still gonna be doing stuff mm -hmm. slowly over the next couple of months, but. We'll get in there eventually. Yeah. Um, it's just. It's been a big mental block. Um, honestly, I think the OSB thing really discouraged both of us. With the, it was a little bump in the road. It was. Putting up and taking down, putting up and taking down. That was really frustrating and it kind of... Something I've noticed a lot of people don't really grasp is like, we are building this from scratch. Yeah, we like, are. We are Un doing Intentionally, because we didn't expect to take as much off as we did. Right. But... Um, so, like, we're doing this whole getting garden plots, getting, getting this barn set up, getting, you know, everything yeah. set up, and trying to run business... Right. From here. Everything, it's a lot. It is so, a lot. So just as an encouragement for people who are building a homestead from scratch, it does take time. It really does take time. It's not an instant, like, you know, Chip and Joanna in 30 minutes you have a, a broken down right. house to a brand new house, which I would love, and Chip and Joe, if y'all want to come out and fix my mobile home, wouldn't argue. <laughs> but for those who are like, oh, I want this life and I want to do exactly what you're doing, that's awesome. We are fully uh, supportive of that. A supportive of that. Like, go do the thing, do a life switch, and buy the property and do the homestead. It does take time. And it's a lot of work. And it's a lot of work. And it's all good work and it's totally worth it. But also to be realistic about your physical and mental capabilities. And if you had to take downtime, like, somebody, somebody emailed us the other day and I really took it to heart. And they said, Look, I want to make sure that you guys aren't switching from the crazy kill yourself work of the job to now a crazy kill yourself work of the homestead because you kind of miss the point Yeah. if you do that, if you switch one slave driver for another slave driver. I was saying uh, Bumblewood mm -hmm. and, and your knife business and all that, like don't switch one master for another master. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yes, you were totally right. We need to slow down a little bit. We're both fried and we're both seeing it mm -hmm. in how we react to each other and how we react to the kids and just everyday life things. Like things that don't need to stress us out have been stressing us out. Well, it's like this mobile home. Honestly, we should be done by now. Yeah. But realizing that I no longer have the mental stamina. Yeah. I am exhausted yeah. mentally. It's time to just work on something else right. and have some downtime. Yeah. And then we'll hit it hard as soon as we're ready. Right. Because what happens is we wind up pushing, 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 and then we make snakes, which you guys have seen. And then you have to, you take, wind, you wind up taking more time yep. trying to fix the mistakes. So it's like, all right, we're going to slow, we're going to chill. That's why we're not working on the mobile home 24 seven right now. Some people have asked like, Hey, it looks like you guys have really slowed down. And we kind of just wanted to be really real and upfront and be like, yeah, you know what? We are burned out. It's a thing. It happens. We're still trying to work on it. But we also don't want to like fake stuff and make up content just to put something out right? because that's not real life and it's not yeah. real us and we just want to be real about it. Yep. So there you go. Why we're not working on the mobile home right now. Like I said, it will be coming. But in the meantime, I am making soap. I'll have a shop restock on November 20th. I'm telling you now so that you can be prepared and get your clicky buttons ready because every time I've had a restock, it sells out within hours. hours. So be ready. I've made as much soap as I possibly can for the time limit and yep. get everything ready for Christmas time. You've been getting your machine shop set up. So another way to follow us. Yes. We have our Instagrams. Right. Um, if we're not filming and putting stuff on YouTube, then we're at least doing Instagram, keeping yeah. everybody you know, updated. Yeah. Like I had a project this past weekend. I made a belt buckle. Yes. And 
I put the whole thing on Instagram. It was fun. It, it was. was. Just, it's something, get my mind back into the game. Get my mind off of this. You know, why are we doing this? Right. Like, have so, some fun. Have some fun. So I made a belt buckle and then I made the kids lightsabers and stuff like that. And just something completely unrelated to what we were doing. And yeah. it was wonderful. So if you want to follow, like my Instagram is Renegade Metalworks. Yep. Yeah. There's the Holler Homestead Instagram, right. and then there's also the Bumblewood Instagram. Yeah, so, so like, we'll drop all those below yeah. and I'll pop them up on the screen. That's a great way to follow us and keep up with us, kind of like on a day-to-day -day basis if we're not putting out a video. Yeah. We're trying to be better about putting out videos. We've but... been doing about two a week, Yeah. and if we have more, we'll put up more. Right. And if we don't, like, I'm sure once we get our oomph back, it'll be every other day. Oh yeah, so basically a big long video to say we apologize for the lack of stuff. Please be patient with us. And it's coming, and we'll get there. So, I think that's it. Hey, Munch! He had his lightsaber. I was gonna have him show you. Munchie, show him the lightsaber! <laughs> He's so short, bless you! <laughs> You're adorable. There you go. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Fun stuff. Right on. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> In right. case anybody wondered, yes, we are nerds. I need to break it to you. It's a thing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. You're a mess! Are you enjoying the rain and the mud? You look hilarious, both of you.